At the airport, runway 22 is being used for both arrivals and departures. The ATC team plan to fit a departure between every arrival. To facilitate this, arriving aircraft are spaced five nautical miles apart. Currently, BusyJet 9X is touching down, expected to vacate the runway at Taxiway Charlie. Skybird 191 is lining up behind, and Sunjet 515 is on approach, at five miles from touchdown. After landing, the captain of BusyJet realizes that the speed of the aircraft is too high to vacate at Taxiway Charlie. He continues to Taxiway Delta instead. Slightly concerned, ATC tells Skybird to be ready for immediate departure and clears it for immediate takeoff when she sees BusyJet turning at the exit. But Sunjet is already at one mile from touchdown. The controller decides it is not going to work. She instructs Skybird to stop the takeoff. As Skybird is passing V1, the captain instructs the pilot flying to continue the takeoff. Sunjet decides to go around and informs ATC. Because of the controller's instruction to Skybird, the Sunjet crew is unsure whether Skybird is still on the runway or airborne. The captain tries to see the departing Skybird by maneuvering slightly to the right. The controller tries to fix the situation. Both crews get a visual and take avoiding action. What a worrying situation! Skybird and Sunjet came within half a mile of each other. How can we avoid this? Controllers, inform crews of any requirement that your plan depends on, such as vacating at a particular exit. Constantly monitor the situation and keep crews informed. Know your decision point. Do not let it run in hope. Lastly, keep ATC instructions and RTF to a minimum. Pilots, if the controller uses words like immediate, be prepared to act immediately or decline the clearance using the word unable. If on approach you have doubts that it's going to work, don't hesitate. Go around. Learn more about low-level go-arounds on Skybury.